Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to go over these three newer spreadsheets we've posted that will link to your live Tatum's data. And in order to link it, uh, there's another video I'll post below here that shows you how to link this up in case your uh, database is on a 64-bit machine or on a network. So the first one we have is the Tatum's Equipment Attachments list. And this basically gives you a list of all your equipment and all the associated attachments for each piece of equipment all on one screen. And um, these would actually be clickable if you were to, once they're in Excel, you can double click on these or move over them to make them a live link if you want to. I believe you just would have to right click on this and make it a hyperlink. Or you can copy this off to uh, Windows Explorer and paste it in and that will open up the uh, the document, whatever it is. And uh, next up, we have the Tatum's equipment list with customer equipment type, odometer, and hours meter, and this is in service equipment only. So basically, this is a list of all your in service where the out of service has not been checked, along with the current odometer and hours meter reading, and that's actually the highest odometer and hours meter reading. And the third one we have here is the equipment list with current odometer and hours, filters, and the last lube service. So it's not showing you the last lube service type if you're using multiple types, but it is showing you the last lube service date in your system. And each of the filters, at least these are the filters that were requested for this particular spreadsheet by a client. And so anytime somebody makes a request for a custom spreadsheet, we post it up on the website to make it available for everybody. So if you have a request for a custom spreadsheet, let me know and I'll get it posted, uh, created for you, and then post it up to the website for everybody to take advantage of. So this one, uh, they wanted the um, oil filter primary, the air filter outer, the fuel filter primary, the hydraulic filter, and then that last loop service date. And of course you've got over here the equipment number, make, model, year, description, and the odometer reading and the odometer reading date, hours meter reading and the hours meter reading date, um, so hopefully this is helpful for you, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or need any help. Thanks a lot. Take care.